start off and just tell you guys how lucky you are to be sitting in this room. Because our players sit in this room. How awesome our players are. So, great game. Uh, love our players. Love how hard they play. Ohio State's a good football team. Credit to them. They made one more play than we did. Obviously, we went for the win at the end. That's my call. It didn't work, so it's on me. Um, thought our guys played really, really hard. Um, did a lot of good things. Obviously, every game you want to play back here and there. But uh, I'm guessing everybody who doesn't sit in this room every day outside in the entire world didn't give us a chance. The season was over last week. That's what everybody thought. We were done. We were written off. And these guys bounced back, played a tremendous game against a highly ranked opponent, and uh, played very, very well. And uh, they deserve a lot of credit for that. They deserve all the credit for sticking together, for believing in each other, to playing as hard as they possibly could play. And uh, obviously, I wish they'd have been able to win for them. They deserved it. But again, you, you got to make one more play. So you, know, you never disrespect anybody who played Ohio State, won the game, and they played more, made one more play than we did. But our players are awesome. Our players are special. And I'm really, really proud just to be around them. Questions for Trey, man? Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Anthony, your day today, uh, the way it started uh, for you, uh, what do you feel you were able to take advantage of? What did the O-line uh, really do for you? I feel like as a team, um, we just been trying to um, get the running game going. Um, I feel like hats off to the O line as always. Um, like I said last week against Indiana, um, without them, I wouldn't do anything no touchdowns, um, no yards. So um, hats go on to the O line. Uh, Trey, you mentioned after the Indiana game how Purdue upset. Ohio State, what was the mentality going into the game, and how did you guys um, believe that you guys could do it? Our mentality wasn't to upset Purdue, or not Purdue, uh, Ohio State. It was to beat Ohio State. Um, we don't look in the Vegas, you know, bet lines, favoring, any of that. Um, we play football games. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. We come in every game expecting to win. Uh, there was not a moment in the game today where we didn't expect that we were going to win. And unfortunately, down to the last, you know, second, um, even then, we had a chance, and unfortunately, we weren't able to pull it out. But uh, this team—that's that's the mindset we've taken all along. Whether we, you know, had good times, bad times, or, or indifferent, uh, the mindset has not changed. It's, it's to win. Uh, that's what you do in any competition. Aim to do, and we've done that. For Trey, on the quarterback pressuring when you guys went after Hanson's, did that offensive line do anything special or anything you weren't expecting? It seemed to provide a pretty good package of coverage for him today. Well, I don't feel that there was anything we didn't expect. Uh, we knew they were you know, basically massive up front. They got a 6'7 center. I like, don't see very many of those. Uh, we knew they liked to slide, protect, max protect, and get, get downfield shots. And, uh, at times we were able to get good pressure on them, and there were times where we let them slip out, and those are those are plays we'd like to have back. But we didn't we didn't see anything we didn't expect. Any questions? Andy, right. is, is there any way you can put in words the swings of emotion in this game? I mean, it was back and forth the entire time, and especially at the end there to take a touchdown with a two point version of it. Um, to put it into words. Uh, I mean, we are distraught right now at this point. There is no words that can reconcile what happened to us. Um, you know, I'm sure if you can go down the line of every guy who played in that game, uh, they feel that there's one play that they wish they could have back. I know personally there are several um, that I feel I could have made the difference for the game. And, um, you know, I feel like as, as a leader of the team, as a guy who the team relies on, um, you want the weight on your shoulders. You want to be able to make those plays. We have a lot of guys who are like that, and they made a lot of those plays today, um, as you saw, but we just weren't able to make enough. And, I mean, there's no way to, you know, overcome what just happened. It, it is, it's awful. There's no other way to put it. In the middle. 
Uh, this is for uh, both, uh, both, both of you guys get the answer. Um, was it any different um, this week and just today as well, managing the emotions uh, going to this game, considering it was senior day and uh, the last game at home and uh, everything else you guys have uh, had to handle during the course of the season? Um, I mean, uh, all week I feel like we've been locked in because it, it was senior day, so um, we knew the importance of this game. It was going to be a big game, but um, honestly, it was, it was just another uh, game on my schedule. Um, we knew we're going to come out and play hard you know, for the Saints for the last home game, and, um, and that's what we tried to do. I feel like we did. Uh, I, I absolutely agree. Uh, in any week, there's going to be you know minor differences. Obviously, like you said, today was senior day. And um, that's something that we enjoyed, but we would have enjoyed it a lot better if we would have made that play or, or any of the plays in the game to be able to win. Um, so that, that's really on that. But in, any any week, you're going to have spe uh, specificities to that game. You're going to you know make adjustments to all those things. Um, they were just a good football team. We were we were ready to play. Peter, Patrick. Yeah, Trey. One last thing. Coach talked about how you guys have stayed together all year. Could you talk a little bit about how Coach has kept you guys together all year in the job? He's, he's been open. Um, he's been extremely receptive, which is what you need to be, uh, in my opinion, as a coach. I've had, he's now my sixth head coach uh, in five years of college football. Um, I had four different ones in high school as well, so I know a lot of different coaching styles, uh, mentalities, approaches, all that. Um, and, you know, being able to, you know, give and take with players, uh, something that he talked about is huge. Uh, you have to find, you know, a, a middle ground where everything we're doing is helping us get better as a team. Nothing is detracting from what we're doing. Um, he's done a he's done a great job of that. Obviously, it's an extremely tough situation. You come in, he's just expecting to call plays and run the offense, you know. And now he's got to manage a million other things uh, on the fly. So he's done a great job of that, and he's just allowed us to um, you know be comfortable doing what we're doing and just go out and play. Anthony, uh, how well did you think Terrell held up in, in his first start of the season? And, and with both. Just kind of taking care of the ball for the most part, but also you know, some of the throws that he had. I feel like he did a good job. I, mean, I was confident with Big um, all week in practice. He was just um, focused, being a, good, being a good leader. So I had no doubt he was going to come in and um, make plays and be that leader of the offense.